Mm, mm, mm. When your past career still haunts your dreams. I, I haven't been a part of terrestrial radio since 2015, and yet after seven years of not being anywhere near a radio station studio, I still get those bad dreams about the industry. The music won't play. I can't find the albums. The music log or there's endless amounts of dead air. The buttons I keep pushing and nothing is happening. Now, research shows that it's an act of not wanting to let go of your ghosts. That's, that's what this is when, you, when your past career invades your life. Past mistakes and past failures. Those are things that you don't let go of, but you need to. It's, it's time to start pushing yourself forward. There are eight things that you can do to release yourself from this mental disturbance. For instance, one of them is living in the present. That's the one that's at number one. Number two, ask yourself questions, which is what I do with the defrag journal. I go and I ask questions. I break it down and I try to listen to what is and what isn't while still putting focus on that present. You aren't the same person as you used to be. So just let it go. It's time to make room for new things. Learn to fail forward. Locate new challenges. Getting control of your subconscious mind and thoughts requires awareness. Identify the triggers and be truthful about what it's doing to you. Speak the truth. Speak the street. Let it go. Hey, it's Arrow. This is The Daily Mess, a chronological walk through an everyday world. I am a daily writer. I break it down, break it down, break it down because of moments such as this. And sure, I had a really bad radio dream last night. And in all honesty, there's no reason to even put focus on it. But in that moment of now where I came out of that dream, it was like, oh, oh, thank God. I wasn't really going through something like that. But I still had to ask, why after seven years am I still holding on to it? So we're going to learn how to break it down. This is The Daily Mess. Waking up to a 32 degree morning. Here in the Carolinas, that's that's pretty chilly. But that's not what's got my attention this morning. As we begin this journey into colder weather, just like the past two years, COVID-19 or COVID has given birth to yet another subvariant. The first reported cases of this BQ.1 have been reported in this area that I live. Local researchers and doctors are so new to this, they're, they're locked in on the new subvariant, but they don't know how it's going to react. I write about this not to spread a pinch of fear, but rather to document the multiple layers and paths of a virus that doesn't seem to want to fade away. Or is it it's kept in the news because science loves being in the headlines? I mean, look how they freaked out when Biden said, hey, look, the pandemic is over. No, it, it, it's not. The numbers are still there and they're still increasing while those getting the booster vaccine is sinking. So, dear future reader, and so it goes. The second level of COVID is mental burnout. (sighs) Do you find yourself in that situation? Mental burnout? Because of the COVID? You hear it and it's like, just go, 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 go away. Don't want to deal with it. And, but science is saying... No, we have to deal with it because this new thing, BQ.1, is making sound. And it's going to get into our lives again and again. We just don't know how it's going to infect us or how it's going to infect others. It's not like the original COVID-19. But at least science is constantly working on this. But through this mental burnout, when we hear the COVID name, we just don't want to deal with it. We feel that if we just keep pushing away... It'll go away. But science reported today in the newspaper. Here we go into what I call the triple crown of holidays. It's going to be Thanksgiving, Christmas, New Year's. What are we going to look like when February gets here? Do you put yourself in a position of getting a third booster? Do you sit there and say, I'm going to see how it's going to play out first? Because that's what science is doing. Yeah, but science at least is going to spread the news. If you were to get COVID again, how would you tell people? Or would you? And will companies be so forgiving when you do get it? Because the company that I work for, it's an essential job. I'm there in front of people. They paid for my time away. But will they do it a second time knowing that we have all of these boosters and all of these ways to prevent it? Will the company step up? I can't find an answer. So therefore, I got to play by the rules or I leave the essential job. So waking up to a 32 degree morning is is pretty much like a, okay, it's just one of those mornings. But when you wake up to the headlines of there being another sub variant that is now running free, now you have to pay attention to what's going on around you without getting that COVID mental burnout. 
How do we stay aware? And how do we put fuel into prevention? We got to work on this together. We got to keep it in the conversation. We can't ignore it because we don't need to go deeper in this pandemic. I'm Errol, and that's The Daily Mess.